Hello, beautiful people. Thank you for tuning up my channel, Uncle Sam's Travel. Let's go to It's a beautiful lake, you know. Uh, but I'm disappointed about, I mean, these people are blessed that they have this beautiful lake, you know, and they should be taking care of it. I'm alone here in an isolated lake area, middle of nowhere, probably not safe. I wasn't able to find in a lakeside restaurant, but I heard that Albanian food are great. They're kind of influencing Italian, Greek, and Turkish. So let's move on. Get back to the highway. Oh look what I found. That's a beautiful place. It looks like a resort and hotel and restaurant. Let's go inside. Well, I do not see anyone eating here. All those tables are empty. I just stopped here on the way going to Montenegro. And I thought I'm going to be eat something here. Look at they have a nice table here. Fantastic. Beautiful place. And it's a basically middle of nowhere. The bar guy told me there is no any food today. It's only for banquets and only open coffee shop and uh, alcohol. But you know what? I need to get out of here. I need to look for some restaurant to eat. The gentleman is look like he's very nice. I'm still in Albanian side. Uh, the border is still about a few more kilometers. So kind of hungry. And this gentleman, he showed me that they're making a roast right there. And it's a look pretty good. I have no idea what kind of animal is roasting or barbecuing, but I believe it is either goat or lamb. Hopefully it is not a guinea pig. Many people think that goat and lamb is the same, but it's not. You know, goat has less fat and the lamb has a higher fat. Goat and lamb has been eaten by human since biblical time, over 10,000 years BC. Smell good and he doesn't speak very well English, it's difficult. So finally I have to get my calculator on the phone and ask him how much because I don't want to get a surprise because he was writing something like a 72 euros for one kilo of lamb and I said no I'm not gonna buy one kilo of lamb for 72 euros and then finally he says 17 euros one kilo like a one part of the leg of the lamb salad he said two euros some bread uh, potatoes which is probably fries and I was thinking maybe drink one cold beer. But in this area, he said there's no beer. Uh, he probably doesn't have a beer license. I don't know. Uh, so I ordered like a Coke. Okay, this gentleman, uh, he started to show me 
Oh, upper well, floor. Uh-huh. <laughs> it's a beautiful place. A lot of rocky style here. Nice. And you can see behind me is a highway. And if you go this direction, you go to capital Tirana, uh, Albania. And uh, here is the bar. So it's like kind of restaurant, but they don't have a customer. He's roasting two lamb, but probably those people are gonna be stopped here from the highway. He has a good setup here though. If you're looking at all those nice gazebo, I like it. It's a beautiful. What's your name? Your name? Oh, uh, Francesco. Carlos. Francisco? Carlos. Oh. Uh, reclamo. My name is Sam. Sam. Nice to meet you. Look like the poor guy, he doesn't have uh, so much business going on because, you know, it's a pandemic is still going on here. Uh, not so many tourists coming in. But he have a beautiful uh, setup here. Nice setup with uh, gazebo and garden. Francisco, he owned this place, I believe. I don't know. Maybe he is. He was, he convinced me to stay here. He just put um, tables, clean it up for me and say, you know, come over. When I was parking the car, he actually came to the parking lot and welcomed me, you know, it was very nice. Uh, so when I asked him what kind of uh, animal is uh, roasting, uh, and he said, it is meh. Keto. Okay, so lamb, lamb, Ke lamb, lamb. meh. meh. Uh -huh. da. Yeah. <laughs> you know, what does that mean? Either lamb or either goat. <laughs> I said, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm good <laughs> with that. I can eat that, not a problem. I mean, I try it in Mexico many times. Uh, borrego, they call, which is lamb. So uh, I ordered it kind of like a one whole leg and see how it is comes. I don't know, he brought the whole leg. <laughs> it is so big. And, and this, um, you know, I have to hold it with the hand. Look at that. This is gonna eat now. I don't think I can finish that. And they have potato, bread, and salad. And let's see how the taste look like here. Mm. Mm, it's just a roast. I asked him to bring some hot sauce. Mm, maybe it tastes good. We'll see. Is um, lamb. Mm. With some chili, Albanian chili. Mm. It's a hot. I like it. Eggplant, I guess. In the salad, eggplant and tomato, olive oil. 
you can smell the the fresh olive oil you know okay, it's not a fake olive oil you can smell it you can feel in your mouth feel in your throat the olive oil and goes through it's kind of a little bit you know itchy that means it's real you know hmm. some potato this lamb is um, it is great one thing I like about Europe especially Greece, Turkey, Albania. They always make fresh salad, you know. Even you are not a green eater. When you see the salad, you feel like appetite. You know, you feel like, hey, I want to eat salad. <laughs> I'm eating like an animal. Usually, any animals you eat meat. Either chicken, lamb, cow. The leg portion always going to be harder meat. Why? But that's the muscle they work a lot because they walk they run so that muscle is always harder but this one here good job on maybe long time roasting it's really coming out from the bones so it's good uh, i would give him a credit for that some homemade cheese let me see It looks like a cottage cheese. I don't know, it's called a cotija or something in, in Mexico. Mmm, salty. Yeah. It's good. I'm familiar with that kind of cheese. But you know what? It's a lot. I gotta finish it all. And I cannot bring it in my hotel. There's no microwave or anything to heat it up. Or whatever I can eat, I mean, I eat. There's still bigger pieces left. Lots of it. But, this treat, fresh lamb leg, barbecued, in the highway, stop your car, get in a nice, restaurant like that great you know it's a good experience it's not all the time happen to every, everyone you know I mean you have to have the opportunity to have this kind of place you know in the United States you don't find like that people roasting lamb on the highway and you stop and you pick up go home or get in there and eat but in Albania yeah it is okay Lamb roast. This remind me the barbacoa in Mexico. Only missing tortilla and chili salsa. But we have here bread. There is no tortilla in Albania. The same lamb, you can put it in a tortilla with some uh, avocado uh, salsa or regular chili salsa, put it in and make your own taco and bite it, oh, fantastic. I have eaten well, another plate is still there, and you bread because the lamb was so much already, you know, all the bread is still here. So um, I ordered another Coke, I need to digest this lamb, so cheers. Uh, everything was fantastic thank you so much for watching my video if you like my video please give me a thumbs up 
and don't forget to subscribe. My next video is coming about Kotor Bay and the old town. Stay tuned.